You're about to watch the Polly Detmerts channel. Enjoy. What's he doing now? What's he thinking now? What's he cooking now? Detmerts. What's he doing now? What's he thinking now? What's he cooking now? Detmerts. Thank you, Stanley. And, folks, Today is a glorious day. Why? Because I woke up. We're about to do a frozen pizza here. And this one is Urban Pie Pizza Company's Artisan Crust, Thin Artisan Crust, um, Uncured Pepperoni, this is a big title, <laughs> Creamy Rosa Sauce Pizza. Nice looking box. I like the box. 100% real cheese, pork raised with, without antibiotics, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, Parmesan, Romano, and diced provolone cheeses on it. Bacon instructions, it's already in the oven, didn't want to bore you all with that. 425 degrees, I got it in there for 12 minutes, the range is 11 to 13 minutes, and Fourth rule of instruction it says eat enjoying the adventure but you know they got this big spiel on how everything is so natural but let me read this part at urban pie we are committed to good which means we use only the highest quality ingredients the urban pie has no artificial colors flavors or preservatives I already said all that part right we use cheeses that are BST free any of you know what BST means our meat and chicken chicken are raised without antibiotics on the front it just talks about their pork is raised without antibiotics I think trying to pull the wool over Pauly Detmer's head man jeez urban pie you try your urban pie and you'll taste the difference in every bite the fine print always tells the truth. Let me take a look at the fine print. I can't read it. This, the print is too fine. I'm not buying a car here. I'm just trying to eat a pizza. 350 calories per portion. One portion is a quarter of that pizza. They got that right. They're not saying a fifth or a third. Because nobody cuts their pizza into fifths and thirds. The Detmerds does not know what BST means. It's an acronym. I was in the Navy over 21 years. I, I've got so many acronyms in my head. Let's find out what it means. Hey Google, I got me this frozen pizza and it says there's no BST in, in it. What does that mean? What is BST? It says, sorry, I'm not sure if you were talking, probably because I'm talking real stupid. Hey Google, what does BST mean in food, frozen foods? I found this on the web. <laughs> Making me do the work now. Hey Google, in relation to frozen food products such as pizza, what is a BST? These are the top results. Freaking BST. I know what BAT is. That's Best available technique. BST. Oh, British summertime, huh? No. BST Global. Binary search tree. British summertime, no. BST accounting, nope. Hey Google, in food terms, what does BST mean? Hi, how can I help? Here's what I found. Okay, I found it. The urban pie pizza is done. Let me pull that out. I'm going to tell you what that BST means. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Food safety assessment for use of BST. BST in dairy cows to increase milk production was considered to be controversial by some 
who were concerned about the safety of its use in food production. Part of this opposition, particularly in Europe, was related to their ban on the use of steroid hormone growth promotion <laughs> promotants in beef production. So basically, no steroids? Who cares? Now I know. She's a little thin. The top looks pretty good. Underside, once again, looks a little manufactured. This is a portion. It's a quarter of the pizza. A little floppy. I like that, that's good. Let's get a better look at the underside. Kind of pasty white. Dig in. You're watching the Polly Detmerts channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Has the marinara Alfredo sauce blend. Sauce is on there a little thin. The assortment of cheeses, pretty good. The pepperoni, it's got flavor, but not really, not a real profound. Well, there it is. It's, it's hitting in the back now. Now on frozen pizza terms, not bad. <clears throat> the crust has a crack about it. It's not, it is a thin crust, so that should be expected. It is as described, and it does have bioengineered ingredients. Do they make frozen pizza anymore without the bioengineered ingredients? But the taste overall, was satisfactory. So I'll give this one, once again, two pepperonis. Not bad. Urban Pie Pizza Company. This comes from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think I'd rather be drinking beer out of Milwaukee than pizza. I can't remember where I got this, but I would say it's okay to buy. It works, it does a job. <laughs> My phone even says it agrees. Folks, I hope you really enjoyed this frozen piece of review because I enjoyed doing it. For you, the best subscribers on YouTube. Until next time, I'm Paul. See you later.